Well, the weekend is here. It's time to head to the movies. Live at 4, movie critic Will Loper is here with this week's Loper Report. Hi, Will. Hey there. So if you're a movie lover, you should be really excited for this weekend because a new film from the Coen brothers is being released. And I thought, why not take a look back at all the great movie moments the Coens have brought us? Who are you? Uh, well, sir, I'm Jordan Rivers, and these here are the Soggy Bottom Boys. I've just been in a terrible auto accident. Oh, I've seen trouble all night. Okay. I want you to tell me what these fellas look like. Well, the little guy, he was kind of funny looking. In what way? I don't know, just funny looking. Can you be any more specific? I'm the dude, man. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, what condition my condition was in. I woke up this morning. The sun down. To show you a little something I've been working on for the past two or three years. It's called dry cleaning. You heard me right, brother. Dry cleaning. Wash without water. You fascinate me. What business is it of yours? Where I'm from? Friendo. But now all the disconnected things seem to hook up. 16 features by the Coen brothers brings us to their latest, Hail Caesar. An army of technicians and actors and top-notch artistic people are working hard to bring to the screen our biggest release of the year. Hail Caesar is a prestige picture with one of the biggest stars in the world. George Clooney plays Hollywood megastar Bayard Whitlock. The truth we could see if we had, but... If we had... Ha, faith, 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 cut. When Whitlock is kidnapped by a group called The Future, it's up to a Hollywood fixer, played by Josh Brolin, to get him back. Hail Caesar is rated PG-13. Have you ever found yourself watching a Jane Austen adaptation involving Pride and Prejudice or Sense and Sensibility and thought, I like this movie and all, but it could really use more zombies? Well, this weekend is for you. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies releases in theaters. It began with the Black Plague. I've been training for this my whole life. Beloved characters Elizabeth Bennet and Mr. Darcy must band together to fend off hordes of the undead and maybe get married in the process. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies is rated PG-13. However, if you're looking for zero zombies but eight times the mushy romance, the choice might be the movie for you. I love you. Well, I don't love you. Oh, hush, you do too. Mom! Knew it the second you set your eyes on him. Based on a Nicholas Sparks novel, two characters, Travis and Gabby, fall deeply in love. Everything seems to go great until Gabby gets in an accident and falls into a coma, leaving Travis with the most difficult choice of both their lives. Some choices could change everything. I should have been there. It's not your fault, Travis. The choice is rated PG-13. Well, they just take like an outline and check every movie cliche? Uh, pretty much. That's Nicholas <laughs> Sparks for you. Yes, indeed. Hail Caesar looks very funny. Oh my funny. gosh, absolutely. I mean, in the cast alone, you, you just have to see this movie, so. But Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> and the vampires. <laughs> that is my all-time favorite book. That vampires. Don't mess with the cast. I mean, I, zombies. Zombies. <laughs> I mean, it might be starting a new Hollywood trend where they just sort of pick something out of a hat and say, let's add zombies. <laughs> yeah, Why not? Exactly. But you think they make fun of it? Well, yeah, have fun with it. When you have something like Jane Austen and period dramas and you add zombies, it can't be fun. But, but you're saying they're playing it straight yeah, and then adding the zombies? They're kind of playing it straight, which I think is the wrong way to go. I think, I think they just need to have fun with it. Well, we have the Coen brothers. That, yeah, that's absolutely right. Yep. All right. Have a great weekend. Yep, we'll you guys see, as your, well. see your review Monday on News 3 this morning. Yep, that's right. All right, thanks, Will. Thanks. The